Hey guys, welcome back to Rotor I was just gonna call you PhD. PhD is okay. my branding. But his name is Paul. You should check out some of his art. Link in the description to his Instagram. He's a super talented artist. Paul's been getting into FPV. Like, how long have you been doing the FPV stuff? Like? I want to say about a year and a half. What's a trick you'd like to learn then? Uh, you know, anything. The split S, Matty flip, you know, backwards. Uh, I just feel like I don't have the control that maybe I expected to. So what about like going upside down, like hanging, hanging out upside down? Mm -hmm. Never, you're not able to like really. No, okay, so not. I think that's a really fundamental skill that if you can do some of these hang time moves, then that opens up a whole new level of tricks. Show you a little bit about how to float and see how that can take some of your tricks to you know, next I, level. I, no, I certainly up. appreciate it, you know. Okay, so far so good. So flip. Ooh, flips a little fast. Throttle. Oh, there's that floatiness. Well, that is kind of out of control. Um, yeah, it's so jerky. Like, I feel like when I kill the... Let me take a look at it. Yeah, the tune could use a little bit of hop. Wait, what the? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's oh, crazy. you're playing horizon mode. Okay. So horizon mode, you push... Oh my. All right, here's a PSA. Dear beta flight developers, remove horizon mode there's no need for that it teaches you bad it's just straight up dangerous you have to push and hold forward to go forward correct or sideways to go sideways but then after you pass a certain point it'll flip on you ah. so it's like being able to fly around in auto level mode and then just do quick like snap flips. so I'm trying to get it like that but it'll flip it the whole way but then the minute you let go of the stick back to the center it'll snap to okay on rate mode you point the, the drone and it just keeps going forward ah. yeah there we go so now we can actually Oh, okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, with a horizon mode, even though you can do certain acro moves like a straight snap roll, you could never do something like floaty, this. exactly. Because would... the minute you bring, because what you want to do there is you want to get upside down. Now my stick is centered. Yes. But in horizon mode, when you center your stick, it's going to snap back too, no matter what position you're at. So in horizon mode, if I was like here and I stuck my stick back to center, it would just go like that. Right. So that's what I was having a problem with. I'm thinking I'm sending it, but then it would just correct. In horizon mode, it'll let you do that or that, you know, but back to level. But if you want to do one of these and hold upside down, Correct. it's not. Because to get upside down, you you hold the roll stick and then you flip until it. you're upside down, then you center the roll stick, and, and now you'll just stay upside down until you move the roll stick again to continue the flip or ah. reverse the flip or pull forward to do, do a pitch or something. There Ooh. it is. How'd that feel? Oh my God. Have you ever done that before? Just like hung out upside down? Not intentionally. It's <laughs> It's just about the save. You just gotta get the save. I would say just go higher. You know, go way, way higher. And save it. There it is. So you're getting used to the idea of being upside down. So now this time, go upside down. And then instead of correcting yourself with another roll input, so go upside down and then pull back on the pitch stick. There oh. you go. And that's that's the fundamental of a split S. If you actually completely level out, you won't be able to fly forward. So you almost wanna like do a little bit less so that you end up still. Hey, just like that, just like you'll fly forward still. So, because if you if you pitch all the way up, so you're looking at the sky. Yeah. Yeah. You just like stop yourself. Like all uh, your momentum spooky, is yes, arrested. Yes. So, by ending still with a little bit of forward pitch, like using a little bit less of that pitch back, then you'll end up flying forward at the end of the maneuver. Dude, it's your every single one has been better. Every single one you've done is better. So yeah, you really quickly got a good hang of doing upside down and pitching forward. And I think the next thing to do is to start smoothing it out. I like to do kind of the slow-mo effect where the, the roll is really fast and then the pitch is slow. So it's a fast Love roll that. and then like a really slow pitch. And it Love kind of, it. it tricks your eye because you see a really fast roll and then, then the slow pitch, it almost makes you think you've like slowed down the video. Yeah, like a, like a slow-mo video. No matter what position you're in, when you drop throttle, you just move the way that you were going. So if you get some good forward momentum, drop throttle, I'm still just flying forward even though I was all the way at low no pressure, throttle. Yeah. Okay, if I drop throttle and go sideways, I'll still just keep traveling forward. So I'm going forward, sideways. I'm still just moving the way I was going. Right. And same goes for upside down. You're going forward, go upside down. You still just keep traveling that way. And then you can Pull pitch through. pitch through to like go under whatever obstacle you floated through. Right. Oh, that was beast. But that, the float, you know, whatever you want to do, it's it's a fundamental thing. I mean, when you want to do a power loop, you want to like thrust yourself backwards, cut throttle, wait until you floated back far enough, and then get on the throttle See, again. See, I was never cutting throttle. I would just find the right pitch well, angle. I mean, you can do that. You can just actually do a Yeah, but that was me. Yeah, loop. yeah, I was wrong. I mean, 
No, it's not wrong, it's just a different style. No, your way is way f***ing better, I'll say that right now. Uh, you're definitely gonna wanna cut throttle for a trick like an inverted yaw spin, right? Throttle's all the way down, give it some yaw, That's put yourself crazy. right up. But it's all just about getting used to that float. So you just get up there, drop throttle, all the way down, and yaw. This Verbalize is gonna help gonna so do. many people beyond myself, it's go. not even funny. That is crazy. We're down. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. The one you came in through where you like shot the gap and spun out backwards, that was fucking nuts. I'm super thrilled to be here. Um, they were doing a live broadcast on Facebook. They decided to throw me on. I put my two cents in there. I was thrilled when they actually invited me to come check out the Rotor Riot headquarters and come fly with the boys. I flew my whoops in and outside the interior of the headquarters. Drew took me out to go flying for real with the five inches. He was very quickly able to determine what I was doing wrong on the sticks, what modes, I mean, just things that I was completely overseeing uh, that were pretty fundamental. Just uh, to be able to have a one-on-one -on -one with Drib showing you how to fly was pretty incredible. No, man, I'll see you guys next weekend for a mural or sometime soon. Road Arrive fanboy for life. We'll see you guys soon, man. Keep flying. <laughs>